Hello and welcome to Crouton Cracker Jacks. Today I'm going to show you how to make perfect spritz cookies every time. Now these are fairly traditional for most families around the holidays, uh, but some people kind of struggle with these a little bit. So let me take all the guesswork out of it for you and show you how to make perfect spritz cookies every time. Are these are the ingredients that you'll need. So let's get started. I'm going to start off using a large bowl here, and I've got two sticks of softened butter in there. This is unsalted butter, and to that I'm going to add in two-thirds of a cup of white granulated sugar. And using a spoon, I'm just going to cream these two together. Now I'm using a wooden spoon here, obviously, as you can see, uh, but if you want to use a stand mixer or an electric can beater, go ahead and use that. Uh, but this is a fairly simple dough, so I'm just going to use the spoon and bowl. And once that comes together and you've mixed that for about a minute to kind of dissolve a little bit of that sugar into the butter, you want to add in two large egg yolks. These are just the yolks here, as well as two teaspoons of milk. Use whatever percentage that you want. Uh, this is actually going to keep our dough nice and smooth uh, and easy to work with. I'm also going to add in two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract, as well as half a teaspoon of pure almond extract. Uh, this is going to give those spritz cookies the traditional uh, almond flavor. It's just a little hint of almond flavoring. Uh, you could leave it out if you want to, or if you want to do lemon spritz, you could do that. Uh, and then just using my spoon again, I'm going to slowly mix this together until it is incorporated. And once that comes together, I'm going to add in my all-purpose flour, also known as plain flour outside of the United States, uh, as well as a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Now, I know somebody's going to ask me if you could use self-rising flour. Do not. Uh, use plain flour. You don't want any leavening in this dough whatsoever. That's going to kind of distort your cookies and make your cookies have kind of funny shapes. They're not going to stay in the shape that you press them out in. So just use plain flour for this and you want to slowly work that flour and salt into your wet ingredients until it comes together and forms a dough. Now once that dough came together I divided this up into three separate bowls here. Uh, I'm going to color two portions of the dough, uh, one red and one green, and use one uh, just plain white, just leave it white. But to the green one, I'm going to add three drops of Americolors Leaf Green, hashtag not sponsored. And for the red one, I'm going to do three to four drops of Americolors Super Red. And using a spatula, I'm just going to mix this together until the coloring is evenly dispersed throughout the dough. Now before I press out my cookies, I want to take a second here to talk about the cookie presses. Uh, if you do not have a cookie press and want to buy one, this plastic one here, uh, is usually what you're going to be able to find in most department stores nowadays. They have a selection of plates with them uh, and they have a squeeze trigger type handle to them. They work perfectly fine. I really like mine. However, most people are going to think of this when they think of cookie press. Uh, it's just your standard uh, aluminum cookie press that everybody's grandmother used. These also work just fine. There's a little bit of a learning curve there, but it's not too bad. I'll show you how to use both of them here. Uh, and this one you actually turn the knob on top to press out your cookies but use either cookie press that you want. I'm going to start off here with the new one, the plastic one. And to fill this up, I'm just going to take small little pieces of dough and start shoving that into the press. Uh, now you want to take small pieces here and press it down and make sure that you don't get any air pockets in your dough here. And when you get it full, go ahead and pick out a plate that you want to use. I'm going to use the Christmas tree one here for this, for the green ones. Uh, go ahead and pop that into your end and screw it on and give the trigger just a couple squeezes until the dough just barely starts to come out. And then we can go ahead and press out our cookies. Now I'm using a plain standard cookie sheet here. This is ungreased. Uh, and basically all you're gonna do for this cookie press is set it down on your cookie sheet, make sure that it's sitting flat and squeeze the trigger once. One press of the trigger equals one cookie. Uh, don't worry, your first couple cookies are always gonna be screwed up. So don't worry about those. But you want to space your cookies about an inch apart. These don't spread a whole lot, so you can put them close together. And you just want to go through and press out all of your cookies until you've used up all of the dough in your cookie press. Now, the nice thing about these new cookie presses is that they are pretty much foolproof and you can pump out a lot of cookies really quickly. So if you're going to be doing dozens and dozens and dozens of spritz cookies, uh, definitely invest in one of these new cookie presses. Now, if you're going to use one of these vintage aluminum cookie presses, uh, it is basically the same concept. Uh, you're going to stuff the press full of dough, make sure that there's no air pockets in there. But again, pick out the plate that you want to use and screw on the bottom. And then take your knob and twist that down until the dough just starts coming out of the plate on the bottom as well. And just like before, put your cookie press down flat on top of the cookie sheet. Uh, and with these ones, you want to turn the knob on top 
Uh, the directions say a quarter of a turn. I find just a little bit past that, actually closer to a third of a turn. Now you're gonna have to kind of play around with your individual cookie press. Uh, these vintage ones, every one is different. Uh, so just play around with it. And if you're having some trouble like I am here with your dough not sticking to your cookie sheet, uh, could be one of a few different reasons. A, your cookie sheet is warm. You need to use a cold cookie sheet. B, it could be that there's grease on there, or C, that you're not twisting the knob quite far enough. But like before, now would be the time to add your colored sugar and your sprinkles if you want to decorate these beforehand. Uh, I'm just using red, white, and green uh, colored non prels here. And then you want to bake these in a preheated 350 degree oven for between 9 and 11 minutes. You want to make sure that they are baked all the way through. However, you don't want any color on them whatsoever. Uh, and then let them rest for a couple minutes on the cookie sheet before you remove them to a wire rack to cool completely. And then let your cookie sheet cool down and then you can press out some more cookies and continue baking. But there you go. Hopefully I've taken some of the guesswork out of making these. So go ahead and give this recipe a try. Let me know how you like it down below in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Subscribe for more deliciousness and to keep up to date on all my latest videos. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.